WeWork shares are plunging in the after hours after the Wall Street Journal reported the company is planning to file for bankruptcy as early as next week. It is a stunning reversal for a company that was once worth a peak valuation of $47 billion. That in the private markets, of course, before it came public. Um, and we don't have confirmation yet that indeed WeWork is filing for bankruptcy. But indeed, this has just been such a stunning story to watch the sort of paragon of the you know yeah. co-working boom the poster child will, the poster child Truly, yeah yeah definitely yeah. and now to see it look like it is headed for bankruptcy yeah i mean this is a company that was i mean it's incredible it was only a few years ago it was once valued at nearly 50 billion dollars right. that was only in 2019 right and, and to your point julie raps right it was apt there was so much excitement about this company among VCs in Silicon Valley, on Wall Street, there was talk there was going to be this massive IPO, mm -hmm. and it just began unraveling. Of course, the co-founder, Adam Newman, got the boot. I believe that was 2019. They mm -hmm. did ultimately then merge with a SPAC in 2021, but the story ends here. You know, I'm surprised at how many properties the company still has. According to the journal, as of June, it had 777 locations across 39 countries. That includes 229 in the U.S., but it also had about $10 billion in lease obligations. And why is this story so remarkable? Mm. You know, at, the, at its peak, Adam Newman painted this as, you know, like so many companies, right? It wasn't just a co-working company. It was the we company. It was how we were going to do everything. We were right. going to live together. We were going to work together. We were. This was sort of a new ethos for how... Uh, corporate America was going to work, right? That there would be this sort of collegial atmosphere where people would be in the same space. It would be flexible. They would only need to be there when they had to be there. Um, but at the end of the day, it's a real estate company. It's, yeah. a, it's a subleasing company. And, and there's kind of no kind of magic pixie dust you could sprinkle on that changed that fundamental fact. And to your point, just to read the journal here, as of June, they still do maintain more than 700 locations, 39 countries, 220 lo 29 locations in the U.S., by the way, and an estimated 10 billion lease obligations due starting from the second half of this year through, yeah. it looks like, 2027. Yeah, fascinating stuff. Incredible.